Hey there, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to Monday. It's time for another installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. Today, we're going to take a little different tack today. Instead of talking about how to make the right things happen, I want to talk about what happens when too much of a good thing comes along. Stay tuned. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where five days a week, you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. I think I might have just discovered a new feature. No, I don't know. I don't know what happened there. It switched over to the uh, the other camera. Anyway, hey, thanks for joining me today. It's Monday, or will be when you're watching this. And uh, my name is Tom. This is Seven Minutes in the Show, the show where we talk about how to. No, this is Seven Minutes in the Morning, the show where we talk about how to start, grow, and enjoy the benefits of business ownership. This week. I want to, or at least today, I want to start the week off by talking about, uh, not what, how to make the right things happen, which we spend a, a lot of time talking about that. But what happens when too much of a good thing happens? That can be just as bad if you're not prepared for it, can be just as overwhelming, just as demoralizing. I know it doesn't sound like it, but bear with me. We'll get into that. Hey, before I get into that, um, do, uh, do me a favor, leave a comment, say hi, hello, good morning. Thanks for doing the show. Appreciate it. Whatever sounds good to you. I will reply to all of those. It's a busy morning this morning, hence the pre-recorded show. Um, but, and tomorrow morning's going to be busy too, but Hey, I'm going to be here for you because that's what I do. That's my job. You'll also notice, notice I'm working against the clock today. I don't know. We'll see if we can get these closer to seven minutes from now on. All right. Today, uh, we're working off of a quote today from, uh, I always mess up his name when I try to say it. Paolo Coelho. Paolo Coelho. Um, he wrote The Alchemist. If you hadn't read The Alchemist, uh, amazing book. Life has many ways of testing a person's will, either by having nothing happen at all or by having everything happen all at once. You've probably felt that at some point in your life, like, man, just could I get one more thing on the cart, please? You really shouldn't ask for that because there's a strong likelihood that you'll get the things that you ask for. Um, but look, it can be just as bad. If, if you, if you come up with a great product and you put it out there and man, it hits some celebrity gets it, retweets it, boom. Now what? Now you've got hundreds, thousands of orders coming in. Oh, if you're not prepared for that, that can be just as bad. If you do have, and here, th this is, now that's kind of an outlier. Here's probably more likely. Let's say you open a restaurant. You make good food. You have a good location. It's easy to get to, priced right, lots of, uh, lots of traffic and, and seven days a week. So you're there all the time, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I really would like to get out of the kitchen every once in a while. Before you know it, you are, this is where this, this idea of being a victim of your own success comes from without the proper processes and without, without the correct systems in place, you're going to feel the burden of this. This is why I tell you all the time, we talk about this all the time. Don't be the, the single point of failure in your business, right? If you do that, if you position yourself to be that weakest link in the single point of failure, then guess what? Your business is only as strong as you are. And we're human. We get sick. We have life happen. Right? I mean, you have relatives in the hospital, you get a cold, you get a flat tire, things happen. And if it's all resting on your shoulders, hmm, that's tough. Now, how do you balance that? You, you know, when you're first getting started, understand I, I can't really afford to pay anybody to help me or, 
or I don't know how to hire people or I'm, I'm, I mean, there's all this stuff that goes on. So we'll talk about some of that stuff as we go through the week today. What I want you to think about, and I don't know if you noticed it or not, but my timer reset when I switched with the quote. So I get extra time today. <laughs> Here's what I want you to think about as you get ready to go into your Monday. If your wildest dreams came true, what next? You know, a lot of people talk about hitting the lotto. And in fact, there's at least one, maybe two or three shows about, you know, um, people that hit the lotto and then go broke because they don't have a plan. Right? It's just, woo! I got lots of money. I'm going to do whatever I want. And then, you know, it's all gone at some point. So if your wildest dream for your business, your life, your project, whatever it is that you're working on came true, what next? What would you do next? There's a, a, a lot of study that's gone into what happens when career military uh, people, especially enlisted soldiers, retire. They have a tendency to not live very long because their life has been so structured and now it's so relatively chaotic that they don't, they don't respond well to that because they haven't planned. Um, and, and they've got a great program in place now that helps with that and a lot of other things, but they, they don't plan. So I want you to think about what next. And if you're brave enough, leave a comment. Let me know what you would do if your wildest dreams came true. If you had... Uh, found any value in our conversation today, I would appreciate it if you'd give this video or audio the old heart, stars, thumbs up, likes, whatever's appropriate in the venue where you are watching or listening. And just go ahead and do, do this now. Click on the share button down below the video. Share it with somebody that needs to hear today's message or as we work through the week, this week's message. Share it with them. They'll appreciate it. I will too. My time is up. I still kept it close to seven minutes. You guys have a great Monday. I'll be back again tomorrow. Take care.